What's up everybody, Bill here, Guitar Struggles, with a revolutionary, groundbreaking new video series. It's kind of mixing the old with the new, in a, in a way, out with the old, in with the new. The old style advice column, like our good friend Dear Abby, and very much like our other good friend Dear Ann Landers, the inferior version of Dear Abby. So, we're going to ask Dr. Guitar Struggles, it's going to be the name of this column, and Disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, but I just often accessorize as a doctor, and I call myself doctor, especially when I go out in public. So we're going to have different celebrities from around YouTube in the form of comments, ask questions, and I am going to give them advice, all right? So for our maiden voyage of this series, the very, very illustrious and very famous Will's Easy Guitar has written in several questions. And we're going to answer them and give him some good fucking advice today, right now, and maybe shitty advice. So let's get to the first question. When I was a kid, I was running out of things to fantasize about while masturbating. Well, I think we all, we've all had that problem. I was watching Facts of Life and saw Blair's cousin Jerry on there. I thought it would be exciting and different to jerk off to someone with cerebral palsy. Well, I think also a lot of people have felt that way watching Facts of Life. Especially considering she was related to Blair, might be the closest I ever get to fucking her. And, I, and again, I think that a lot of people have felt this way. But anyway, I found out that Jerry is actually gay. She is a lesbian. Since I jerked off to a lesbian with cerebral palsy, does that make me gay? Now that, that's an excellent, excellent, excellent question. It really is. And it's counterintuitive. You would think no, because you jacked off to a female. But it's kind of like... Algebra. When you add, well, when you multiply, when you multiply two negative numbers, it turns into a positive. So it's not exactly like that, but it's kind of like that. So being that you jerked off to a lesbian with cerebral palsy does make you gay. It does make you gay. And it sounds to me like you're concerned about being gay, but don't worry, I have an answer for that because all you have to do is think about algebra. And what we can do is we can cancel that out, much like when you're factoring in algebra. We can cancel that out. You can jack off to certain different things. You might have to get um, a season on DVD, if they have it available, maybe on Amazon, of the famous show Life Goes On with Corky. Now, if you jack off to a retarded guy, that would totally cancel out the fact of you jacking off to Jerry with cerebral palsy. If that's not an option for you, you can also jack off to any Michael J. Fox show post-Parkinson's disease. You cannot jack off to any of Back to the Future movies, or you cannot jack off to Family Ties, but you can certainly jack off to Michael J. Fox in uh, whatever that show was when he had Parkinson's, especially if he's shaking around. If that's not an option for you, you can jack off to any um, Jerry Lewis telethon. So you can fix that. So yes, to answer your question, yes, you are gay, but B... There's something you can do about it, okay? And that's how this is going to work. And let's see. Our good friend Will from Will's Easy Guitar has another question. There's this girl at work that I find really attractive. Perfect ass, nice tits, the whole shebang. Yesterday I found out she was born Ralph Johnson. She is, or I guess I should say he is in transition because I lust after a man dressed in tight dress and stockings, even though I didn't know it was a man, does that make me gay? Again, a very excellent question, because I think a lot of people fall for this trap. You, so you stated quite clearly that you did not know that this was a man. But, but here's where you fucked up. You used the word the whole shebang, and that makes you extremely gay, and, and in a flamboyant, flaming way. So yes, question two, you're gay. So now, now you're definitely gay. And another thing I might want to add, um, you know how they always say, well, if you think you're crazy, don't worry about it. Because if you think you're crazy and you're worried that you might be crazy, odds are you're not crazy. Doesn't work that way with gay. <laughs> now, if you're always questioning yourself as, am I gay, am I gay, am I gay? It's absolutely not like crazy. If you're questioning your gayness or, or lack of gayness or lack of ungayness, you're probably gay. Well, I'm just throwing that out there. But let's, let's move on to the next question, okay? Because there are a lot of very good questions. When I was 14, I was sent to juvenile hall. I was raped by three people in the shower after dropping my soap. Even though it was soap on a rope, it was around my neck. There was no reason for me to drop it. Anyway, I tried to fight them off, but I couldn't. The question is, for you, because I became one of these guys' bitches in jail, 
and I didn't get paid much more than minimum wage for it, does that make me gay? Well, first of, first of all, let me say this. Never, 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 and they say this, never blame the victim, okay? Never blame the victim. But in this case, you're not the victim because this was entirely your fault for being fucking gay, for being gay. This was your fault. You asked for it. You totally asked for it. You said clearly there was no reason for you to drop the soap, okay? We, uh, everyone picked up on that. You're not a victim and stop feeling sorry for yourself. And yes, very, very, very gay. The other thing is, don't fight these guys off. When you're gay like you are, you beat them off. It works much better. Beat them off. Don't fight them off. Just beat them off. Good question, though. Very good question. So we're building, uh, I think we're building a, a very strong case that, that our good friend Will from Will's Easy Guitar is probably very, very homosexual. Let's get on to another question. I was recently listening to a song that I didn't know who was singing it, but I was really enjoying it. Later, I did research and found out it was Menudo. Does this make me gay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a two-part answer to this. Does this make you gay? One, yes, it makes you gay. And secondly, it probably also makes you Mexican. Okay, but good question. And thank you for that. Well, thank you. And before we get on to this other question, let, let me add, let me add as well that that this might just not be solved in a video. This might be done in a Skype conference. And might, might I say that I would be very, very willing for you and I to Skype together. If you would like to send me a private message with your Skype ID, and I would be more than happy to reciprocate on Skype. And I know that they say a lot of people jerk off together on Skype, and maybe or, or maybe not that will happen. Okay? Just want to put that out there. And let's move on to the next question. Last week, I got extremely drunk on Jack Daniels. Is a hell of a guy to lay on top of, by the way. Just kidding. I was drunk on Jim Beam, who's not much fun to lay on. He's fat. Just kidding. I was drunk on Captain Morgan, who turned out to be part of the Royal Navy. Who would have guessed he was gay? A guy, a gay admiral in the Navy. Anyway, when I woke up, I was hungover and I wasn't sexually satisfied. So I found a channel called Elmo B. I jerked off to his channel while wearing a bra and pantyhose. Does that make me gay? Now this, this, a funny thing, let me say about this question. This, this is so us, Will, like me and you, like if we were a gay couple together, this, this type of, this would be so us because I want you to know something and this may or may not make you feel better. I often film myself jacking off. Okay. And I fantasize and follow me. I fantasize that while I'm jacking off, you and I together are in a Google Hangout, okay? And I make believe that I'm you watching me jack off, watching me jack off, okay? And that we're in this Hangout just jacking off together like two fucking bros, two dudes, okay? And that's totally gay. That's totally gay, right? Except, except here's a caveat for this. And here, here is how we escape it. And it's so funny that you put that, you, you jacked off to Elmo B's channel. What I do right before, right before I ejaculate, I, I imagine that in the hangout, Elmo B is in the hangout and he has a wrench. And that completely makes Elmo B gay and takes all the gayness off of you and off of you and me. So no, that doesn't make you gay. That doesn't it actually it makes Elmo B gay. It makes Elmo B gay. So you're you're in the clear there. You're definitely in the clear with that one. And and the horse video thing, not not necessarily, because you can't be gay with animals. You can't that's a whole different thing. So that doesn't make you gay. Okay, next question. Now, now th th this again is a very good question, and let let's hear it right now, and I think I have some very good advice for this question as well. I once watched my grandfather take a shit on my grandmother's chest on a Betamax video I found under the bed. Because I often have dreams about it, does it make me gay? Now, what I notice more about that, not so much the gayness, but what I do notice, and I think a lot of your problems stems from your grandfather being such a fucking cheap fucking asshole and not very financially savvy because what fucking idiot buys a fucking Betamax and a lot of people say well Betamax was preempted the VCR and no it wasn't you had the choice of Betamax or VCR and the fucking dumbasses always chose fucking Betamax okay so it's your grandfather's fault and he's fucking stupid your grandfather's fucking stupid and what's he doing now what does he watch reruns of fucking 60 minutes on his fucking laser disc machine now, if you were half a fucking man and not a fucking homo fag, what you would do is go out and buy your grandfather a fucking TiVo so he can TiVo 60 minutes or whatever the fucking else he wants to do. 
And then that way he can pause it while he shits on your grandma's chest. So fuck your fucking grandfather. And a lot of this is his fucking fault for being fucking stupid. Question answered. And yes, that, that does make you gay. I own all of Selena's CDs. Does that make me gay? I'm going to refer back to the Menudo question. It's going to, yes, A, it makes you gay, and B, Mexican. So you're a gay Mexican. And let's, let's, let's do one more question. Let's do one more question. I often try to fist myself in the ass. I think that I'm only gay if I don't use lubrication. Am I right thinking this? Because I enjoy fisting my ass with lubrication. Does this make me gay? Excellent Excellent question. Excellent. I think we're going to end on this question because it is a very excellent question. A lot of people have that question. And I would say the lube, the lube cancels out the gayness. If, if you're going to go dry with the fist, very, very, very gay, but not so gay. But I would, I would recommend this. If you ever want to go without the lube, don't go straight to the fist because it's going to be much more difficult. I would start I would start with something smaller, like the size of, of your average size hot dog, or some people call it a frankfurter, uncooked, because sometimes they swell up. They swell up and it might become too big for your, for your unlubricated anus. Um, but that's what I would try. And maybe just shove half of, half of the hot dog in your ass. And did I mention to you that when I'm fully erect, I'm about the size of half of, of an uncooked hot dog, fully aroused and erect or at least well, probably a third of the size of, of, a, of a hot dog. And did I mention to send me your Skype address and your regular address for that matter? Because I feel like you and me could probably hang out and talk about this somewhere. I'd love to fucking talk about this shit. I could talk about you maybe or maybe not being gay all fucking day long. Okay. So what did we learn about Will from, from Will's Easy Guitar and other stuff? So, and now the name of it is Will's Easy Guitar and Other Stuff. And what is the other stuff? The other stuff is being extremely, extremely homosexual. So when we summarize, when we add all these questions together, you're definitely, definitely a flaming, flaming homo. Now, you may be a power bottom. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, but we could talk about that sometime, too. But I want to thank, I want to thank Will from, from Will's Easy Guitar and Other Gay Stuff for putting himself out there. Put, and, and hopefully that will help other people to ask questions so I can help you. So Will can help you to get help from me and we can all help each other, which in turn will help Will, which in turn may or may not help Elmo B. All right. So does that make sense? Because it, it doesn't make sense to me. But anyways, that's what I got. Until next time, everybody, your struggles are most definitely absolutely 100% my homosexual struggles. Till next time, I'm out of here.